There's nothing better after a long, hard day at work than to come home and really relax. But wouldn't it be even better if you could relax in a hot, soothing spa? They're a great way to unwind and relieve all that stress and tension from your body. In the 1980s, Australians bought around 5,000 spas a year. Today, it's closer to 30,000. That's a massive leap. So why the increase in popularity? Firstly, there's a space issue. Not everyone has the room to install a pool. Now secondly, the population is getting older. So the cashed up baby boomers are looking for something to relieve their stress and tension now that the kids have gone. And thirdly, ease of installation. Portable spas that sit above ground can be installed nearly anywhere that has around seven square metres of space. And depending on your council, you may not need any planning permission because they don't go in the ground. But before you can feel the bubbles between your toes, you have to decide which spa is right for you. And there's so many to choose from. Indoor, outdoor, spa pools, swim spas, spa baths, gazebos, large, small, round, square, your options are endless. With the press of a button, powerful swim jets convert these pools into challenging workout areas for swimming, aqua jogging and exercising, giving your body a complete cardio workout. If it's serious entertaining you're after, then an 8 to 12 person spa pool would be for you. You'll have no shortage of friends with one of these in your backyard. At the end of the day, it really comes down to your budget and space. So before choosing your spa, you need to ask yourself some questions. How many people are going to be using it? And will you use it for fitness, like this one here, or entertainment? Portable units are easier to set up than in-ground spas, and they give you the option to take it with you if you move. They're actually more comfortable to sit in, which makes them more popular. And all they need is an electrical connection for the pumps and heaters. In-ground spas have more flexibility when it comes to design aesthetic because they're usually made of concrete. But you need council approval because you're putting them in the ground. If you're installing your spa on a deck, make sure you have adequate support. If your deck isn't prepared, it's likely to collapse. Then you'll have an in-ground one before you know it. If you're not sure how much your deck will hold, consult an engineer. Most spas operate between 35 and 38 degrees, which is the breeding ground for bacteria. So they need daily chemical treatment. Poor water quality can lead to pumps and heaters burning out, or worse, make the spa users sick. So when it comes to maintenance, choose one that gives you more time enjoying the thing than cleaning it. You know, after a long, hard day at work, I can't think of a better way to relax than in a hot, soothing spa. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks pretty good in here. Well, let me tell you, it feels even better.